Good evening, it's Phil Thatch here on the top of the electric power board parking garage in downtown Chattanooga, Tennessee. It's blue hour, uh, the sun just set, and uh, I, I was planning on doing some light trails off the roof of this garage. Heather's on the other side working on some light trails, and I don't, <laughs> I forgot everything. I'm using the microphones built into my vlogging camera because I forgot my microphones tonight and uh let's see something else i forgot oh i forgot my screwdriver so i can't get my uh arca swiss plate off of my ftz to put it on the bottom of the z50 so i'm using the 35 1.8 i was planning on using one of the kit lenses but i'll just use the 35 1.8 because it has an arca swiss plate and my first composition is looking down over here that's the reed house which is a, a hotel in chattanooga with the red lights on it and I'm uh, making a couple of long exposure shots here, 15 seconds F18 with the Z50 and the 35 1.8 of that intersection down there with some light trails. And I think those red lights on the Reed House are pretty cool. So that is the first shot. And I've got a couple of those in the bag. Now I'm doing one more, maybe, maybe another one after that. And uh, then I'm gonna go and see what Heather's working on. Uh-oh, it looks like, uh, the police are over talking to Heather, so I may need to go quicker than I thought. Here is my shot from that first location looking down towards the Reed House. This is uh, four 15 second exposures, exposure blended. And a little bit later in this video, I'll show you exactly how to do exposure blending in Lightroom and Photoshop. Okay, well, I came over to the other side of the building where Heather was making some shots. The security guard was talking to her, but he didn't run us off. Yeah, he he thought it was fun. So so here's Heather, and uh, I'm shooting. I'm stuck at 35 millimeters, or I could switch to my 50. And Heather is. Uh, I'm at 10 to 24. Heather's right now. got her ultra wide on, and uh, I'm still shooting with the same settings. 15 seconds f18 ISO 100 seems to be the key from up here. So I'm just going to make a bunch of shots from around the place. What's your settings, honey? Um, I'm shooting F22, ISO 100 at 30 seconds. Oh, you're going for I'm the, trying to get stars. Going for, <laughs> I got you. Okay, so she's doing double my shutter speed and she's doing F22 and I'm doing uh, half her shutter speed at F18. I may switch, but I, I don't know. I think, I'll, I think I'll stick with my shutter speed. Let's keep working. All right, well, this is Heather's shot, and it was her idea to come to this location, and this is the area that she wanted to shoot from this location. And with her wide shot, she can get the entire building in there on the right. That building on the right, which my shot has cut off, is uh, a building owned by Senator Bob Corker. And uh, this is four shots, so there's lots of light trails in this exposure blend. So, strangely, Heather and I have switched settings. I was down that way Heather's still at the her original spot and I was down that way and I switched to uh, f22 and 30 seconds and I came down here and she has switched to f18 and 15, 15 seconds. seconds so let me show you it's funny leave us to our own devices and we'll do what the other one was doing but I switched to, to the longer shutter speed because I'm making this shot looking down Market Street where the road curves and you know I'm kind of kind of stuck with this 35 millimeter composition. Let me see if I can get the exposure to where you can see. Yeah, there we go. So I've got in the top left of the frame, I've got the pickle barrel, which is a, a bar that has a, the second floor is open. So I've got that. And then as the frame goes out to the right, I've got Market Street. And then as it crosses 11th, it starts to bend to the left. And that's at the top right of the frame where the road bends to the left. And I'm making a number of 30 second shots from here and uh, the plan is to maybe blend some of those together when we get home okay so here I am in Lightroom and I have five exposures of the same composition and let's take a look at them here we are looking down Market Street and there's a pretty good bit of light trails in this 30 second shot Here's some more in this 30 second shot. Here's some more with one car leaving from a parallel parking place in this 30 second shot. Here's a car entering a, 
a parallel parking space in this 30 second shot. And here's some more activity in this. And while these light trails are pretty cool, my idea is to combine all of these light trails from these five shots into one single shot. So let's look back at the grid view. What we're gonna do is we're going to highlight all five of those. We're gonna come up here to photo, edit in, and then we're gonna click open as layers in Photoshop. Okay, so here we are, now we're in Photoshop, and we've got all five of our images stacked over here as layers. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight the top photo, hold down shift, and then click on the bottom photo. And now we've got all five layers, all five photographs highlighted. And we're gonna go over here to Edit, Auto Align Layers. So just in case, and an automatic will be fine here. So just in case there was any camera movement between those five shots, this will line those images up so there won't be any weird ghosts other than the ghosts of our light trails. Okay, so now the photos are all aligned and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here to the blending right here where it says normal and there's all these different ways you can blend these photos. And you can see as I kind of move up and down through the different ways to blend, it causes all sorts of different crazy effects. But what we want to do is lighten. So this will take the brightest parts of each image and let those pass through. So whatever, what in all five images, for each given pixel in the image, whichever one is the brightest one, that's the one that will show. And with that, you get to see all the light trails from all five of our images in one image. Really, really cool. Now, this particular one doesn't look like there was any, after the auto align, doesn't look like there was any issues. But sometimes at this point, if there was any camera movement, you might have to crop just a little bit to cut out any weirdness. But this one looks absolutely perfect. And at this point, we can go to File and Save. And when we do that, it will put our five images stacked and exposure blended on Lighten back into Lightroom. And from there, we can edit the final shot. And here it is. This is the final version of those five shots that we just looked at after blending them together in Photoshop on Lighten and putting it back into Lightroom and then editing it to get it just right. Here's the final version, and I'm pretty happy with this look down Market Street in Chattanooga. I'm almost certain that this is the parking garage that David shot from, my friend David Saylor's in one of his videos, and he made an awesome picture of that little uh, pay to park booth that's down below. And at 35 millimeters, I can't isolate it I could probably switch to my 50 and mostly isolate it, but instead what I'm doing is I've got a composition set up where it's down here in the bottom corner of the shot, the bottom right of the shot, and I'm shooting over towards Market Street. And I've got the, the curve past 11th Street in the shot and, and some other stuff. And uh, I'm putting that parking booth in the shot as a, uh, as a tribute to my buddy, David Saylors. All right, so there is that shot, and this is another exposure blend there. And look, the FedEx stroke is ghosted in this shot. Came out pretty cool. I'm working one more composition of the uh, the David Sailor's Pay to Park booth. It's basically the same thing. I moved my camera from right there to right there, but I'm, it's the same idea. I'm still shooting across towards Market Street with the, with the Pay to Park booth in the bottom right of the frame. And I've made about three shots of that. I better go check on Heather. On the previous version of this composition, I made five shots and this one I only did three, but other than that change, I probably like this one better. I wish I had done five. All right, tell me what you're working on, Miss Heather. Um, so I'm looking down Market Street and there's this nice curve that goes around as you go south on Market. Oh yeah, I shot that too. Oh, did you? Yeah, what's your uh, millimeters for it? Um, let's see, I think I'm, 
I'm at 14 millimeters, so I'm pretty wide. Yeah, I'm, every one of my shots obviously is at 35. Yeah. <laughs> And I'll switch back to my uh, other settings. You switch back to F22 in 30 seconds? Yeah. Cool. 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 So here's Heather's shot of that composition, and it's really nice because she's got some stars in the sky and she has all the buildings. Unfortunately, there's a little bit of lens flare kind of around the TVA building, but really beautiful shot she made of this composition. If you're doing long exposure photography like we are here at night, Use a tripod, get your uh, focus set manually, do at least a two second timer before each shot, that way you can press the button, take your hands off the camera, let the shaking settle down, and get a nice sharp shot with no camera shake. A few times, instead of just making multiple shots, I've just set my two second timer up to do uh, a two second timer and then five shots of the same thing, 30 seconds each shot, that way, I'll be set up to uh, do some blending in Photoshop when we get home. So that's what I did on this shot, and this is kind of back to the original composition. I just set the timer for two seconds and had the camera make five 30 second shots right in a row. I figured there would be plenty of traffic to blend together and make lots of light trails, and sure enough, there was. Heather and I are on the roof of this building completely by ourselves. We don't need our masks on, but I still got mine handy just in case Mr. Security Guard comes up and talks to us again. But uh, anyway, she, I was thinking we were kind of done, but she's got another shot she's wanting to try. She's shooting. Actually, I haven't done this shot. She's shooting. Now she's shooting over towards uh, Chestnut Street. Is that Chestnut Street? That? Yeah. 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 So she's shooting over there towards that. I, I, I didn't do that shot. But one thing that we discovered... Uh, we were working on on getting her shots in focus, and her lens is a uh, maximum aperture is 3.5 to 4.5, and it was a lot trickier than the lens I'm using, which is a fast prime at f1.8. So when you're focusing, you're wide open, and it lets in so much more light, and it's easier to focus in the dark with the 1.8 lens. So there is a point for doing this sort of photography with a fast prime. I was watching Heather set up her composition just now, and with her ultra-wide lens, she can get the road in the shot and all the way to the top of these buildings here in Chattanooga, which are you know anywhere from 4 to 15 or 16 stories tall. All my shots, looking down from this, we're on the 8th floor, which is the top of this parking garage, all my shots just have the road and maybe 2 or 3 stories up because I'm nowhere near as wide of a lens. We're both uh, shooting Z50s APS-C, so I'm at 52 and a half full frame equivalent. And she is, with her 10 to 24, she's anywhere between 15 and 36 full frame equivalent. All right, well this is the photograph that Heather worked on for quite some time trying to get it just right. And I really like it because you've got the TVA building on the left and the Marriott Chattanooga Convention Center on the right. And in between those two, you can look in the distance and see world famous Lookout Mountain in the background. And you can kind of see the silhouette of it, but you can also see lights of some buildings and housing houses along the top of the mountain. And I really like that Heather found this shot and, and that I didn't find this shot. That makes me particularly fond of it. And also, it was really a struggle for her to get that Tamron 10-24 to lens to focus. And I think it might not be quite as compatible with the Z50 and the FTZ as we were hoping. She's had great luck with that lens using it with the Nikon D7100, but it doesn't work as well. Uh, the focus is really a struggle with that lens. You can have it dialed in just right and then make the shot, and for some reason it will just kind of drift out of focus. So it took her quite a bit of working to get this shot just right, and she persevered and made it. Well, Heather is still shooting. She's about done. I've already started to pack up, but I thought I'd come and, and say bye. I made a, I made a uh, timer selfie of us, which may or may not end up being the thumbnail for this video. And uh, Heather's still working, her composition. And uh, I'm so upset because I've had some audio problems for the last several videos. And I got it all worked out, and, then, and uh, everything was going to sound great for this video. And I forgot my microphone, so way to go, me. But uh, we appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoyed the content. And uh, if you like it, thumbs up's always appreciated. Look forward to seeing you in the next one.
Bye-bye.